So as we look at Corey Joseph in ball screen situations, you're not going to have a guy that's going to give you quite as much as what we just talked about with Cade Cunningham. Now he does, is able to score. He has a little step back right there in the mid-range. He misses that one, but this is what Corey Joseph is going to give you more often than not. I'd say almost 50% of the time when he gets a ball screen, he's not really going to attack downhill. He's not going to look for the roll guy. He's either going to get to that step back or you see there just a pull-up jumper. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying that's usually what you're going to see from him. Now, it, that's not it. Okay, so here's an example. He puts the defender in gel, lets Isaiah Stewart roll in there, give one of those runway screens that we talked about in the Cade breakdown, and on this one, he does get all the way to the rim. I guess I would like to see Corey Joseph Joseph do this a little bit more put a little bit more pressure on the rim like on that one okay and different from this one where he gets a switch here and then just isn't really able to attack it this is late in the shot clock not really able to attack and condense the defense to get an open shot for a teammate here so I would have liked that he was able to attack Grant Williams where a teammate would have got a wide open look because somebody had to help and then even like this situation and I'm not positive whether he's shooting this or or throwing the lob to Marvin Bagley, but this is what Marvin Bagley the third is here for, and I just like to see Corey Joseph do a little bit more of this. Attack this, attack this, either finish at the rim like we saw a couple of clips ago, or be able to throw up the lob to Marvin Bagley the third in this situation. I know he gets fouled, and again, I'm not sure which he was trying to do, but that's what I'd like to see a little bit more of.